and welcome along and welcome back to our Seasons from Scratch Let's Play here on Felsbrun. Uh We're heading over to the shop today because it's that time. We are ready for harvest. We have one of our own fields ready to go. Uh, so if we have a look here, field 31 is ready to harvest. So I want to get that harvested. We've got a couple of blocks in it that have, uh, have failed. And uh, and yeah, I want to get that up. Um, fields 26 and 18 aren't ready yet, but they should be ready in the next couple of days. But more importantly, look at this. We have a huge number of fields that have come uh, ready. If I take the planted stuff off, you can see... Yeah, so there's a large number of fields. And we know that several of these as well. Um, I, I, in fact, everything on here will have a contract on it. So, we need a harvester that we're going to be able to cover all of this with. Most of this, looking at all these, uh, actually, we can do with a single header. So, we pop into the shop. I was tempted, initially, to go and buy outright a cheap harvester. Uh, so, the, the one I was initially looking at was this. Uh, it's a, uh, a modification of the in-game one. I was going to go with the Bison setup like this. But the downside to this is why, while this will only cost us about 16000 to get set up in the way I want to set it up, um, it is not a big harvester. Uh, it has a, a three a <laughs> three and a half thousand litre tank. It would take us forever to do contracts with that. So my plan is... To get something a bit more mid-range. Now that is either one of these. Uh, which is uh, is these uh, masses of things. Which have a 12,000 litre tank. Um, which is slightly older. But this is sort of an American configuration. So I think what we're going to go for is this. It's a class Lexian. Uh, it's uh, the 530 is the minimum one we can get. It has an 8,000 litre tank. 8,600 litre tank. So it's slightly larger tank. Um, I think if we, yeah, so there's no difference with the uh, price of uh, that. Um, we've not got any massive hills on what we're doing. So I think the 530 will be a good amount, for, uh, a good size for us. Uh, standard design. Uh, we've got two design setups, so there's there's several logos that we can do. We also could have combine numbers, but we're not going to do that either. I want to put the GPS on it. Definitely a good choice. Um, wheel brand. Now, we've got several wheel setups. Uh, wide or standard. Uh, Michelin are just standard. I prefer the Michelins in general. So that's the design we're going to go with. It's uh, with this Lexium 530. It's 16,775 to lease it but we should cover these leasing costs with what we're going to be doing so uh we're going to lease this combine uh which will be great for us uh and then we need to go ahead with uh a header to go with it uh that would be the c600 header which is here uh so uh yeah no options on this uh good little header uh, we should be able to get this down the road. So I'm hoping I'm not going to need to get a header trailer for this. And we'll be able to just navigate around by the sides of the fields and things. So we're also going to lease this. So our total lease has uh, has been about 20,000 uh, for these. But it should mean that we can get through our stuff fairly quickly. We are going to get a trailer in a minute. And I'm hoping we can buy that outright. Because uh, I think a, a trailer for karting is going to be good. Uh, let's take that off. And that. Uh, my hope at the end of this, by the time we do all of these contracts. And get all of these uh, finished. Uh, is that we're, we're going to be in a position... Uh, where we're going to be able to buy a combine, probably probably something like this. I would like to buy a combine like this, uh, and uh, and maybe just maybe by start upgrading our tractors as well. So the idea is to be moving on. We're probably going to look at a, a little more of a class setup on the farm, uh, but uh, yeah, it's we got there's so much potential to earn a huge amount of money here. I want to get our canola cut early. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. 
today. We are good on the chickens at the moment, I think. Chickens will need sorting before the end of this. Uh, but yeah, let's get these, uh, let's get this up first. So unfold our combine. There we go. And we're going to set our GPS up on this edge as well. So turn it on, drop it down, and away we go. And this should be a really decent amount of canola we get off here. So again, we're going to set up our GPS course. Uh, now I need to check. We'll get that going on cruise control. Check in here. We want snap to terrain angle. Show lines is off. Uh, and, uh, and there we go. So that's all good. Snapping to terrain angle means that we, uh, on, on this map, where we have some nice square fields, uh, it means that we will keep uh, a nice sort of uh, 90 degree run up here. So set that again. Uh, we want to auto width, get that to the right thing. And there we go. So we're getting about 10, 11% off here. Uh, I'm quite happy with how we're starting off here uh, with this combine. This should be a perfect little combine for us to do around here. We find we're struggling with field sizes at any point. Uh, we'll we'd be able to get a, another one. Uh, that we can uh, just increase our size with. So what I'm going to do is... Whoa! Too much speed. Let's not destroy a huge amount of our crops. We did destroy a very little bit. But you can see the reason why I wanted to not rush into that is because it wasn't quite straight. So down. And in we go. So now we're opening up the field. And, uh, and that's a great start for us. So this is, uh, yeah, so this is a perfect size combine for this. Uh, we're gonna get cutting into our canola uh, and we're gonna have this field, we should have this field finished today. And, uh, and with any luck, by the time we've got this canola done, uh, we will be able to go on and get a contract started as well because we need to make as much money as we can to make sure that this combine doesn't end up costing us a fortune. We're up to 80% full now. So what I'm going to do is, uh, well, yeah, we should be able to get two more rows out of this, I think. Uh, we are in a really good place. I'm I'm quite pleased with our, uh, with our yield on here. We're going to get about, well, we actually should have been able to tell before I started, but I didn't look uh, because I've added a new, um, a new uh, yield. Uh, thing in here. In fact, we can tell, I think, if I come over here, we can see potential harvest quantity for here is about 13, uh, yeah, it's about 13,000 litres. Uh, in our remaining section here, I oh, actually know that's for the whole field by the looks of things. Uh, or maybe that's what we have left. So another 13,000 litres off here. Uh, and we already have seven. So about 20,000 litres off here, which is pretty good. Uh, really happy with that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it is halfway through the day. It has come to midday. Uh, so we're going to have a look. We're going to get this now. We're doing about 10% a row. So I'm going to want to empty at the far end, I think. Uh, let's have a look and see if there's any harvest contracts pick up yet. There aren't, um, amazingly, uh, considering how many fields really are ready to be harvested at this point. Um, and there may be that they don't appear till next time, um, seeing as it's only the first day that things are available. Uh, but certainly I want to pick up as many harvest contracts as I can, as soon as I can. Uh, looking at the time this is taking, though, to do this field, uh, we're going to have to be a little bit careful of it. Um, but as long as we can get our three fields done, as well as as many uh, harvest contracts as possible, um, I will be happy. Let's just bring this to the end. There we go. Right, happy with that. Let's pop down here. I want to grab this. Now, we do have a trailer that we could do this with. Um, we've got, we do have that trailer there, but I want to have a look and see what else we have uh, and see what else we could possibly get. Now, I'm thinking a dolly trailer seeing as we've got a bit of a European setup here would be pretty good. 
Um, as I said, we do already have a dolly trailer. That holds 27,000. That's far more than we're going to need. Uh, we only need about 16,000. Uh, that cramp at the lower side, the capacity of that on the lower end is pretty good. Um, but what I want really, I think, is going to be something like these. Again, I believe these are Eastern European uh this holds uh this holds 15,000 liters uh i'm gonna go with this one that holds uh 22,000 i think uh, we are gonna have to borrow a little bit of money to do it uh we can get it in the red or we can get it in the orange i think i think we might go for um i might have really fancy going for the orange uh no cover drops it to uh, only drops a thousand off it. Wide tires versus standard. Uh, no, that I think will do nicely. Uh, so we are going to need to borrow a little bit of money, uh, but that's fine. So we will borrow five thousand, which we still can at the moment, uh, and go with something a little bit different for once. Yeah, we will go with. We can actually get normal what like ones of these, but. Uh, given what we're doing, I'm going to go with this. Uh, we can go with, we can go with those rims and that color, and that then is nice and different. We will buy this. Uh, we have twenty-three thousand forty-two. Oh, we still don't quite have enough money, right? We have to borrow ten thousand to do this, but it will be worth it. Right there, we go. So I'm looking at this. Uh, we should be able to. Now we don't have a drive through. So this is going to be an interest. This is actually going to cause us issues. Uh, so I'm going to look at its. Uh, its equivalent is 25,000 uh, for the same thing. But uh, I think we should go with this uh, simply because I think that uh, trying to reverse a dolly is going to be horrible. Yeah, silver three, black, black, silver or silver. So I think we're going to go for the brightest silver like that. Uh, standard wheel setup cover. Let's buy that. There we go. We can go and fetch that at the store. And we're going to use our HTZ uh, to pull this as well. So out this way. A little overloader would be uh, a tempting thing to have here. But I don't think we need that. I think I think we just crack on with this uh, set up like this. Yeah, using a uh, using a dolly would have been cool, except and the thing that made me pull back from it was the whole thing that we are uh, we have a dolly. Uh, at the moment, so we could have used that, um, but also is uh, if I created as a drive-through uh, our um, our place where we're uh, our grain store, then that would be one thing we have not. So trying to reverse a dolly up to that all the time that would be horrible. So I've no wish to do that. So we're going to empty this up here with this. Go. Uh, which is great so back in our combine start it up again there we go uh, while we wait for it to empty and with empty away we go again forwards uh, that in and brilliant so that is our first tank off here at 8,600. Um, fortunately, we've got 18,000 we can take. So uh, this will take two loads off this combine, uh, which is really good. So that's a good size trailer for what we've got here. We should get, looking at how far we are through this field, about two full loads off here, uh, which is great. Uh, we can go and put that in our grain store. I want to look... Uh, 
when the best time for us to do uh, to sell canola is going to be. That is uh, selling canola. Oh no, in the wrong place. We want to have a look in the seasons menu for canola here. So that is going to be the last week in uh, week in autumn. So that's good. That will work out well for us. Uh, we should have a whole load of uh, crops to sell around that time, uh, which will be fantastic. I'm, I'm really looking forward to being able to cover uh, that stuff uh, at that point. Uh, so let's get this uh, combine filled up a bit more. Uh, see where we are, see how close we are to the end of the field when we come to another full tank. And, uh, and yeah, see where that leaves us. Maybe we might just have another harvesting contract we can start to sink our teeth into uh, before the end of this day. Now this is one of the bits I like about seasons. As you can see this section here of uh, withered crop. Now that's crop that's failed. That's that's crop that is, um, I think, I think may have got too dry, um, and I like that. I would, I would kind of like some way of um, dealing with that, uh, maybe an irrigation system or something. But um, I do like the fact that you get patches of crop fail in seasons. I think it's one of those really nice features. Absolutely makes that that little bit more realism. And it's, it's like the weeds. It's, it's having those patches of uh, bits and pieces that just just mean that you're, you're, it's a little bit more like how real farming works in that you, you rarely have an entire crop that fails. Uh, you would have patches of a field that fail or you'd have patches of a field that have big weeds and things like that. So I love that Seasons are, adds that level of realism into it. Um, but yeah, so that's that's uh, that's a great example of uh, of that feature, uh, that patch, uh, just in the middle of the field there, where the crop has withered. Uh, we are now up to eighty four percent full. Uh, we are possibly going to have more than um, yeah. I think we might have more than another tank here. Uh, we are yeah. It's last time we started a row. At this kind of level, uh, we hit 100% before the end of it. Now, I don't know if that trailer is going to have enough space in it to take what appears to be about three more rows off this field. Uh, it would be really interesting if it did. It, I, I, quite, I quite like the idea that it might be able to do that. So uh, I think we'll have to have a look and, uh, and see how it does. We've got another strip of withered crop through there. This is going to hit nearly 100% by the end of this row. So what I'm going to do is rather than go back down the other side and empty, we'll switch across to our tractor and empty before we cut down the other side row. We've got a little bit less room to work with and manoeuvre. We are 47% full here. It's going to be a real question as to whether that does need that doing. I do like this trailer. I really do like this trailer. It's a good looking trailer. And works well for what we're doing on here. And works well behind our um, HTZ as well. I think it'll work well behind the, uh, the new tractors I want to get on the farm after this harvest too so uh, yeah we'll see how it works yeah there's there's not a lot of crop left here will it fit in the trailer is a good question though down we go and in we go and hopefully yeah i think we've, we've only got two runs along here it's not gonna be a massive amount we still have to get off this uh, off this field, but it is enough. And my calculation is that we've got about space for about 800 litres. Uh, we have well over that left off this field. Uh, that is the end of the second to last row. And it's, yeah, and we've got 14,000 litres. So I think we're going to have to 
uh, tip what we've got in the trailer. Em empty uh, and fill up the trailer. Tip what we've got in the trailer and then come back and empty the combine. The beauty of that is while we're tipping, we can come back up to the combine and grab it um, and do that. Um, again, we're coming to the end of this contract. Uh, sorry, the end of our own field. It's not a contract, this. Uh, I want to see, have we got, we do have harvesting uh, contracts coming up now. So that's good. Um, we're going to grab this first one. Uh, it is barley from field nine. So that's a good little contract for us to start with. Uh, no other harvesting, contract come, have, harvesting contracts have come up. So what we'll do is we'll have a look where field nine is on the map. Uh, it is over, ah yes, it's over that way. Uh, so we'll get the combine up there and hopefully get the headlands off. That's not a huge amount of money uh, for, that, uh, for that contract initially. However, um, we should make a nice piece of extra cash. So let's stop that. Uh, we'll cut the GPS. So yeah, we're another 2,000 litres. It's not going to fit on the trailer. Some of it will. But not yet. Yeah, so 1,701 1, litres left. That is, uh, for me, that's quite a significant number. Um, let us know in the comments if you know why. For me, that's quite a significant number and makes me smile. Um, but we're going to, uh, yeah, we'll turn off the harvester. So we're going to take this and, uh, and basically I'm going to park it so that we can just pull the tractor out and um, once it's tipped, refill it and immediately put it back in. Right, and get this back down. I rather like this trailer. We could even pull several of these behind us if we wanted to. So long distance uh, hauling is not a bad thing. Um, I need with with the amount this combine is costing us though, we need to bring in money from contract work. So let's bring this round. So what we're gonna do? Is back this up. Always fun with this. This this tractor is much better for backing up dollies. There we go. So tip that into our grain store. And once that is done, we'll just pull it forward and with the combine empty, we'll send, uh, we'll leave this in here tipping and go and take the combine up to field nine. We are going to want a new tractor. Uh, yeah, really going to want a new tractor. So there we go. Last 1,701 litres in there. Tip that in there. That's done. Turn that off and we'll take our combine up to the new field um, even though time is now running short on us let's head up that way approaching field nine now and you can see it's just over that way managed to do most of this um, on non-public roads which has been quite useful to us uh, I'll drop this down uh, now. I want to show off a new mod that, uh, that I picked up, uh, which I showed you a little bit earlier in, his, uh, in here as well. So, potential harvest quantity is 47,876 liters. Uh, so, we are expecting just shy of 50,000 liters off this field, uh, which is a not insignificant amount. Uh, it'll take us a little while to get this harvested off here. Uh, so I'm not expecting to complete this uh, this time. We are going to take the headlands off. Uh, I want to give myself a little bit more manoeuvring room. Uh, but if we can if we can get the, the, uh, the headlands knocked off this, uh, that would be pretty good. 
Uh, I want to do sort of two, three headlands off here and get that done. So we're going to go around and do that. I, I think we might have a small interlude in this uh, when we go back to get the tractor trailer because we could really do with sorting our chickens out uh, before we run out of time here. Uh, and I'm very aware of how short time is running. Coming to the end of the third side of the field and we've got 84% full. So we've got quite a long side of the field to go. I think we're going to be pretty full actually uh, before we reach the end of the field. Uh, before we uh, head back to where we started. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's quite a big lot of barley off here. Uh, which is... Uh, great for a contract uh, we want to be able to the more we can get off here uh, the more we're gonna get off here as well uh, which uh, of course in the long run means the more money we're gonna make this is there we go so let's lift this out and we're gonna head back to our farm and I'm just gonna sort out our chickens quickly as well uh, before we come back so head down here and what we want to do is head over here, start this up. It's getting the right, picking the right bit. There we go. So we've got a little bit of wheat in our trailer. Uh, we've got a little bit of, uh, we've got some wheat on the ground. So we're going to open up. Make sure I've got the right bit selected. Open that up. And then we can drop this down. And get this into the right place. It just tips in. But yeah, they are very low on food at the moment. We want to make sure that they do get the maximum. We keep producing stuff. And we don't want to lose any of our chickens course is the other thing and it's gone in there quite a bit let's have a look uh, oh wow they really really need a lot of stuff so we need to go and refill this uh, down it goes and in it goes so I can leave this what I can do is I can leave this uh, emptying out while we go back and unload our combine. So we'll get two birds with one stone here. Uh, refill this with wheat. There we go. Go and tip this. And it looks like, oh, it looks like our egg pallets actually are almost completely full. So I might need to get another egg pallet before we uh, before we start uh, the next game day. But leave that emptying. That yeah, that is uh, that is ninety four. That is a hundred. So yeah, we need another egg pallet uh, before we finish. I am going to take this up to field nine though. Uh, so that we can go and empty our first load off there. Uh, and then I think that's where we're going to end the harvest for today. Uh, it's We'll pick that up next time uh, to get at least one headland out is good. Um, but yeah, let's get this up there, start getting this emptied, and then we can go and sort out a couple of egg pallets. Uh, because we're nearly full on the other two. Here we go, nearly in our combine. Right, let's pull up around here and turn the beacons off because we don't need those on anymore. And let this empty. There we go. We'll turn that off and head back to here where this is emptied. And we actually only need the one egg pallet for now. So we'll go and grab that and put that in place. we run out of space and it is uh, we are going right into the evening here uh, which is pretty cool so we'll need to so I want to pick up a second egg pallet next time as well 
Uh, this time we're just going to pick up the one pallets. There we go. Let's. We don't have enough money. Ah, it's a thousand, and we have seven hundred and sixty-five. Uh, so, yeah, last act of today, then, is going to be to borrow a little bit of money. Buy ourselves a couple of egg pallets. Because we are going to run out of money overnight. That is guaranteed. Excellent. Uh, and now we just need to get this back to the farm. There we go. Line it up. In and round and off. We could have put one in the the back of this actually, but we actually we didn't easily have a way to load it in. Um, there we go. And can I hook uh, can I hook the front of this? Yes, I can hook the front of this up to our water trailer as well. That is the water pallet. Uh, sorry, that is the egg pallet in. I'm just going to bend this up here like this. Hook on to our water trailer. Like so. And then we can tip the water. Which is getting there. We can't sell that water, but I don't think we spent anything on it in the first place. Right, so that is when we're, where we are going to end today's video. Um, all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.